In uh, Cherokee tradition, many of the carvings were done to represent different stories and effigies that were very important to the Cherokee people. If you look at this carving that I'm holding here today, we have um, salamanders and lizards on it. There was once a story of where the old people said that when you went walking in the forest, that sometimes the lizard would come tearing out of the woods and it was after you. And this lizard had a throat that would expand and as it expanded, it turned white. As it retreated back again, it would turn red. And it seemed like this lizard was trying to suck the blood out of the person who was close by. So the Cherokees feared this lizard. There's also a Cherokee story that talks about how the turtle at one point in time was thrown up into the air and he fell to the ground and he broke his shell into 13 pieces. And if you notice, each one of these turtles has 13 sections on his back. And if you go out in nature and you find one, you count those sections, they have 13. And so the Cherokee people represented these old stories and these stone carvings, sometimes made of wood, sometimes made of stone, and even shells. And so this is a very important part of the Cherokee art. They felt like that the stone many times would even speak to you and tell you what it wanted to be. So when I go out in the forest and search for these stones, I look and I listen and I wait until I figure out what each one is going to be before I take it away. If I take one away and I don't understand what it's supposed to be, I take that stone back and I put it in the place where I found it.